was shoehung back then? It's all a little fuzzy to me now. I was still a child then. And my father's firm, Tinlu Traders, was just taking off. So I can mess around in stores and stock rooms all the time. With its great size and plentiful resources, Shuhang was a perfect place for business, and it was booming even faster than today. Sadly, my father's good fortune didn't last. The Cloud Song Crisis happened. Even today, no one wants to talk about it. Cloud Song Ore, a mineral with no constant mass nor gravity. In extreme cases, it can tear apart even the stratum. This was how the city was torn asunder, with one part in the clouds and the other on the ground. Mankind always seemed so tiny, so powerless, in the face of great disasters. But that doesn't mean we have to give up. In every nook and cranny of our lives, we folks from Shuhang simply don't believe in destiny. In times of danger, there's always someone who steps up first. Back then, that someone was Monko. Oh, that's Gungtun to you. She founded the Quad, and came up with the astral engine to stabilize the ore, leading people to rebuild our homes in the sky. The Cloud Song Ore is no longer a ticking time bomb, but an important material instead. A lot of valuable technologies are developed from it. In the past few decades, the Five Isles of Shuhang have remained free from major disasters, and we've lived our days in peace. I also took over my father's business and have been running the Tinlu Traders to this day. This is what he wanted, to create jobs for everyone. But... oh? Perhaps I should remind you one more time? In Shuhang, nothing should be taken for granted. A mist rises from the stream as the sun sets behind the temple. A storm is brewing. And this time round, what kind of catastrophe awaits Shu Hung now? In the beginning, all was dim. Then, the outlines of the profound truth grew increasingly clear. A profound truth that, though not perceptible through the senses, illuminates every inch of ether and makes all phenomena possible. An eye unmoored which sees the illusory, sees truth itself. You seem deep in thought. What's on your mind? Surely tending to the business of Xu Hong is already keeping you busy all day long. Reading broadens your horizons. You should take this with you, if you're interested. An eye unmoored which sees the illusory sees truth itself. Is it trying to tell me something about... <sighs> There's trouble everywhere now. In the last few years, have we known more about the source? I've hit a dead end with the leads we found. Besides, the cinders are my absolute priority right now. That may take you nowhere. I know. The data of the cinders and the cognizant visbanes share many similarities. <laughs> You're in quite the hurry. You know what's happened recently. The appearance of the cognizant visbanes is a very bad sign. We Prime Modifiers aren't the only ones who have remained through the various reboots. Unlike the Visbanes, we can't afford to fail again and again. Hmm. What have you seen? <sighs> the worst situation you can imagine. 
Of course, I didn't share the disturbing sights from my hazy visions with the others. If there is a way out of this, I will find it. I will plan for the worst. <sighs> Did Thor not come with you? I told her to remain at Aethergazer because of all that's going on in Einsoth. Something's not quite right. Such as? Something to do with time, maybe. Memories? Or even... the source? You said that you hit a dead end with the leads we found. But can you call something you don't know a lead? It all happened at Korg, and by the time I got there, it was over. Maybe Korg is in the dark, too. Hmm. We never heard from Korg, despite the seriousness of what happened. To be honest, I've stopped expecting anything from Korg since the last era. But the trouble is, someone inside Korg may be hatching something. Well, with the agreement in place, we've no right to look into Korg's inner workings. I'll go with you to look for the cinders. Hmm? I didn't think you'd be interested in that. This is in Shu Hung, after all. So you know, I've been doing a little research since you returned to Ein Sof. Also, dangers lurk everywhere in the Source Lair. <laughs> Someone's really taking the time to explain herself here. How about your power, then? That's not a problem. That'd better be true. Like I've told you so many times, I need you alive. I'm going with you. Why do you insist? I know what's on your mind. <laughs> However you please. Let's make a deal, then. What is it? The Mimir system. <sighs> That's quite a something you're asking for. Keep the book. It's time we get moving. What's going on, Abman? Let me see... Oh! We've arrived! Oh! 
Unable to connect. But Miss Odin is always busy. And you know, it feels a little strange. a candle to Mimir. Speaking of the mission, it's a really odd one, isn't it? Are we really just here as Lord Mimir's bodyguards? Shop over there. Thanks, Bud. You're welcome. Is this your first time in Shuhang? Huh? Oh, we're not here for fun. Oh? Well, neither of you are dressed like merchants. And you don't look like you're here visiting family, either. The Tianlu traders, huh? I won't take up more of your time, then. seems to be really interested in us. Incredible! The Astral Engine. I was hoping to take a closer look at it, but... Got it. Like there could be good food everywhere here. Huh? Call the others. Oh, I was actually hoping to. <laughs> Nothing. Do you see anyone from the Quad, Admin? Are the two of you...
You can put their bill on my tab. Come with me. Yes, that's me. Um, Mr. Jianbing? Could you tell us what we're here for? Don't ask those kinds of questions out here. About the job. We've got to keep it under wraps. This is very important. I'm relieved to hear that. Hmm? Why is she out here? I see you're getting along well, huh? The Tianlu Traders. Mm hmm. This is your first visit to Shuhang, isn't it? I'm glad to hear that. Ah, <sighs> I'd love to take you around Yujing, but follow me. I'll take you to see your client. What? What do you mean you could only shave off five points? They think they have the upper hand because they have goods in stock. Come on. They can keep raising their prices all they want, but we don't have to take it. I still think you're too soft on them. Good manners are good business. Ah, newbies don't have the guts to push back, you know? We've got our fingers in a bunch of pies. That's what business looks like when you get to this scale. But you know, unlike Ether Gazer. In fact, half the businesses you saw back there? Oh, come on! Investments sound so transactional. We help each other out. You know, I'm something of a business genius myself. Our company does a fair bit of trucking business on the ground and across the Sapphire zones. It just so happens that your client is a physician who's rather passionate about her calling. Guang, hey Ling Yu, how's it going? Oh, hey Lu 
良。Tian Bing, and you are. Oh, are you our guest from Ether Gazer? Sure. I've written it all down. Nothing to worry about. Thank you. <sighs> don't worry. I don't charge for my services. I'm running a little low now, but... Thank you so much. <sighs> That's alright. Just focus on getting better for now. We may be meeting for the first time, but you don't feel at all like strangers to me. I'm Lingguang, the Quad's deputy of the South Isle. Good afternoon! I suppose you've already met Jian Bing, deputy of the West Isle? I apologize for any offense Jen Bing may have caused you then. Oh, come on, Ling Guang. Right. Now that everyone's here, just come get me when it's time to leave. That Jen Bing just can't or won't sit still. Please, don't mind. Huh? Oh no. You... Your breathing shows clear signs of poor energy flow, but... Huh? Are you feeling unwell, Admin? Really? Hmm. If you say so. That's typical of Lingguang. All right, let's not stand in the hallway all day now. Oops! Oh, I'm sorry, miss. Are you all right? Is this yours? I'm okay. It was my fault. Uh, my pouch! It seems rather important to you. Yes, my sister made it for me. Oh, Lady Gremory? Uh, so you're here, Miss Luliang. And are the two of you guests of the company? Ah, there are guests from Ether Gazer. Ether Gazer?
How's the patient doing, Dr. Lingguang? Do you know him? Yes, he's an employee of ours. Oh, not to worry. Thank you. And Miss Luliang? Is there something you want to discuss with me? Oh no, nothing of the sort. Since your company has been such a loyal partner of the Quad... What's on your mind? Well, there's nothing to hide indeed. In the interest of discretion, I've been asked by the Enterprises and other Sapphira Zones. We've been counting our losses. As you can imagine... Miss Luliang, it's already been three days. <sighs> the Quad has already begun investigating the matter. But you're right to say that the Quad has to propose a satisfactory solution for Commerce to resume as before. I understand what you're saying, but... Please don't take this the wrong way, Miss Luliang. I'll inquire with the Quad regarding the investigation, but I can't promise anything beyond that. Besides, we're all in the same boat here. I'm gonna get the jerks who did this sooner or later. What a pain. You can talk in this room. My dear guest from Ein Saf. Very. These aren't your run of the mill attacks. Since the Five Isles of Xuheng hover in the air, we typically stay clear of the Visbanes. It's been more than two decades since we've lost a human life in an incident. Indeed. Meng Zheng, Deputy of the East Isle, is investigating the matter. He was supposed to come along with us, but... <sighs> I'm sorry, I've gotten off topic. It's a grave matter indeed, so please excuse us. First, I should let you know that the request was initiated by the founder of the Quad, Gun Chen, our chief. I suppose you saw the astral engine on your way here? The story goes that the Quad managed to end the Cloud Song Crisis by building the astral engine, but... Chief Gun Chen is a prime modifier, and her power has been bound to the astral engine since then. But nothing lasts forever. I've been trying to find a way to repair her power. If I don't find a solution, not only will Gun Chen's life be in danger, So this concerns the very existence of Shu Hung. Yes, I recall that when the astral engine was still on the drawing board, the designers came up with a part called the Heterocore. But last month, the chief suddenly told us that the Heterocore can be used to repair the prime power. So, we invited you two here, hoping to use Mimir's computing power. This being such a serious matter, I can only tell you about it face to face.
This is the data sample for the heterocore. Is this... Mimir? It looks like a fully automatic device to me. Modules made possible by miniaturization technology. Analysis complete. Stray data signals filtered according to conditions provided. The signal source may be too far away. Um. What does that mean, Admin? It does look that way. However, I must warn you that given Xu Heng's size, the search may take some time. Well, we'll do the best we can anyway. When do we leave? As soon as possible. I'll let Jin Bing meet us at the port. Ling Yu, do you have to head back to the quad first? I'm good to go! Jin Ming and Meng Zheng aren't with us, so I'll take care of any nasty machines that pop up. This is Xu Hung's old town. It's so quiet here. No one lives in the old town anymore, nor do wild animals, but... There are visbanes here. Maybe? You don't have to worry. Mm. What? Just don't pee your pants if you run into one. Please, I'm not afraid of the Visbanes. Is the Heterocore here, Admin? I don't mind waiting a day or two here if it works. Tianlu Traders has several safe houses in the old town. This here used to be the main shopping street, and over there... You see this anvil over here? 
And this alley here. Deputy Jianbing, you seem to know this place pretty well. I awakened quite early. Yeah, Korg is really secretive. Oh, is it the same way in Einsof? That place is as fortified as a prison. Huh? It means what you think it means. Korg does not believe that the Astral Engine could keep Xu Hung safe forever, so? How can they do that? Well, they clearly think they're right. Chief got him to leave eventually. Zhu Ming? Oh, that's Lin Yu's master, right? Yes. Zhu Ming's much more than just a tech expert. No, she was a modifier too. Her name was Zhu. She was good friends with Meng Zhang. Hmm. The core could be in one of those workshops then. Please, feel free to ask. As the hetero core is designed to amplify computing power, it shall boost my divine power too. To be honest, I have no idea if it'll work. Ling Guang? I'm sorry. Sample matching, normal. Huh? That was fast. Performing regression. Th 13 hours? Looks like we'll have to spend a night here. That's all right. The Tianlu Traders always treats its people well. Oh! Those are AGI mechas created here in Xuhang! What's up with them? I'll do my best to protect you all. Come on! Not the Zerk AGI mechas again! Is this... fame energy? I'll Flash. send you off. There! <laughs> huh? Take it easy! Fire. Ready to burn it all. Let me help you all. I'm gonna use this power to keep you all safe. Slash! Hey. I'm ready! Lightning! Answer to my will! Though embers may perish, my flames shall burn eternal. Now! Don't worry. Close your eyes, then serious. you can truly see. Hey. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust. Huh? 
life and death. <laughs> Though embers may perish, my flames shall burn eternal. Go, hot! Easy! Let me help you all. Hey, Slash! Take it easy! <laughs> there! Well done! I'll make a hearty stew for you when we get back. Look at you. Not bad at all. <laughs> See? Miss Jimin gave me some handy tools before she left. I'm gonna take a look at the Mecha's black boxes now. Administrator, are you alright? It's nothing compared to you. While courage is good, you must watch out for your own safety too. AGI Mechas corrupted by Bane energy. Administrator, looks like you're more of a sharpshooter than you let on. intact. This kind of Cloud Song orbits and mechas were reactivated. That's just how Cloud Song Ore is. Back in the day, Xu Hung was just like this little piece of Cloud Song Ore. Without the astral engine keeping the ore fixed in place, the five isles would have collided with each other long ago. We'll be able to save the people, but the city will be lost if that happens. No need for the doom and gloom. Let's get inside now. There's an alarm system throughout the compound. There's some food inside this storeroom. The house's control room is in there too. We should rest up now. <laughs> <laughs> 